Hello everyone! I'm here today with another video in my read and review series and this is going to be a single page layout, <clears throat> excuse me, about another book I didn't finish. You know, 2019, I'm still scrapping all my books from 2019, 2019 was probably the year where I had the most unfinished books. That hasn't happened in a long time where I have that many, but there were just several that I couldn't get through. And now this one I bought on Chirp, which is similar to Audible if you've never tried it, except you don't have a monthly fee. You just pay for what you want and they give you daily deals. So it's relatively cheap. And I saw this one on there and I had heard good things about the movie. And so I thought, okay, well, you know, I'll read the book or listen to it as the case may be and then watch the movie. I could not get through this book. I found it so boring and the person reading it just was very monotone I felt and so it did not help get me into the story so I didn't finish it I abandoned it sadly and then I after the fact looked and saw oh it's written by Meg Wolitzer several years ago when I was in a book club I read her book called The Interestings and no pun intended it it was interesting or to be ironic or however you want to put it but I struggled to get through it. I only finished it because I was in a book club and I had very mixed feelings about it. So I guess maybe this author too just isn't for me. I don't know. But so that's my explanation of that one. I have found this paper already I want to use, but this is too wide. So I think I'm actually going to cut this in half and then use it along the side, either the inside or the outside, probably the outside. And then I have my photo here and then that doesn't leave a whole lot of room for journaling, which is just fine because I don't have a lot to say about it. So I've cut down the strip here and I am going to place it closer to the outer edge. Is that pretty even? I think so. And I chose this paper because it's Argyle pattern, which says to me that it's more masculine. That's just the feel I get from it. And so I thought that was appropriate for this given that, you know, I know that a lot of the book and the movie is supposed to be about how she feels overshadowed by him. He's a successful author and she's helped him get there, but she doesn't get any of the credit. Everything in life is about him and she just plays a secondary role. So I figured the tone of it was kind of fitting. So I think I will put that right up there and then I'll figure out the rest of the layout. So I've pulled out some stuff I want to use and one of those things is a stamp and then I also have this little thing that says eh, just okay. So it has to be better than just okay for me to finish it these days. My time is valuable and I want to read a good book if I'm going to read. Now this stamp that I have picked out is from this set. This is an old one. Does it say on here? It doesn't say who makes it, so I have no idea. I've had it a long time, it's well loved as you can see. I'm going to use this one that says return here. <laughs> now the sad part is on Chirp, you can't return books. It's not like Audible where if the narrator's horrible or you, you just really have a problem with it, you can try to return it. On Chirp, you can't. Pretty much once you buy it, it's yours. Luckily you only pay, you know, two or three dollars in most cases, so it's not a horrible loss. But I did want to return it. I would have, if I could have. And I think I'm going to put it maybe right here and then maybe this will go down here somewhere and I'll journal in between. Okay, I did the stamping and I put on the little die cutter embellishment phrase label there. Now I am going to put in the lines for journaling. Sometimes I will freehand, but I've noticed lately my writing gets very crooked. So I think I'm gonna put lines in using my pen here and I just use a scratch piece of paper to draw along it. I don't do anything fancy, but I think the lines will help me with my writing, so I'm going to add those now. I have added in my lines there, and I realized after I did it my paper was slightly crooked, so they're slightly off, but you know what? I didn't even really like the book, so that's okay. I'm not going to let that bother me. But the only thing that does bother me is that I, would, I think it needs some of this dark red. I've got red here. This is lighter, but it's still red, and I think I need it just for color. I'm not sure what I have, so I'm going to look in my enamel dots maybe, see if I have anything that's that color, even stickers, and see what I can work in here to add to that. I found these enamel dots and they're a darker red, and so I think I'm definitely going to use those, but I also decided to go through some other 
embellishment type things that I have. And I have these phrase stickers from Tim Holtz and this is the snarky edition. And I thought, aha, since I didn't really care for the book, I bet there's something in there I can use. And I found this one. Sorry, my furnace kicked on, it's very loud. <laughs> it says a penny for your thoughts seems a little pricey. And since I mentioned, I wish I could give it back and hadn't paid for it, I think that that's pretty apt for this book. So I'm going to put it in there. I'll have to cut it into two pieces to get it to fit, but I definitely want to use it. All right, so there it is. I put it on there. Penny for your thoughts. Seems a little pricey. So everything is done other than the enamel dots. So I'm going to take those and place those on now. So I have placed the enamel dots. I have one, two, three, and I think that's done. I really don't have anything else to say about this one, so I don't want to dedicate a lot of time or supplies to it, but at least it's in there, it's documented, and I'll do my journaling later. Thanks for watching, everyone.